Guys, welcome once again to another fascinating math problem. In today's video lesson, we are going to be solving the radical exponential equation on the board, something very unique and exciting, though a bit uh, weird. So let's go see the problem and the solution together, as always. So we are to solve 4 plus raised 15 or to the x, plus 4 minus raised 15 or to the x, everything equals 62. So if you look at this problem critically, you will see that this is not the regular exponential equation we are used to because of the radical basis. On the other hand, if you take a second look or a second thought, you will see that these radicals are actually the conjugate of each other. So 4 plus rad 15 is the conjugate of 4 minus rad 15 and vice versa. So with that symmetry, we are then going to resort to rationalizing either of these two radicals. But before we go further, if you are new on this channel or you derive value, you know, from our videos, please don't hesitate to subscribe and smash that bell notification so that you can be notified anytime I upload a new video. So let's go back to the problem step by step. So, guys, solution. I will take 4 minus rad 15 divided by 1 becomes a fraction. So we are going to rationalize this. Contrary to what many of us believe, or rather know, that it's only when a sword is at the denominator of a fraction, that's when you rationalize. That's not true. So you rationalize sword to get rational expressions till to your mathematical need. So let's go back. So I'm going to rationalize this sword. Therefore, means that I will multiply both the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of this radical, which is 4 plus rad 15. I will write 4 plus rad 15. 4 plus rad 15. So, this is the head start. Then, on the numerator, what I see here is a difference of two squares. So we can recall that we have a plus b, multiply a minus b, this will be a squared minus b squared. It's a very famous well-known binomial formula, difference of two squares. So with this, it will be 4 squared, which is 16, right, 15 squared is 15, Upon 1 multiplied 4 plus rad 15, that will be 4 plus rad 15. We subtract the numerator, we have 1, 4 plus rad 15. So, guys, in place of 4 minus rad 15, I will replace with it 1 upon 4 plus rad 15. So, we are then going to have something interesting 4 plus rad 15 all to the x plus. Like I said, in place of 4 minus rad 15, we shall write 1 upon 4 plus rad 15 all to the x, everything equals 62. So with this, we've actually refined the completion of this problem. So it now wears a much simpler outlook. So we shall make an algebraic substitution. I will say let u equal to 4 plus, okay, let me take this up. I think I should rewrite this, 4 plus rad 15 to the x. I think I have to write this one here, so that, okay. u equal to 4 plus rad 15 to the x. Let me write this neatly. Therefore, means that here I'm going to be having u, here, I'll be having 1 upon u equal to 62. Okay. This is a quadratic equation, I guess. Okay. To multiply each term on the left and right by u, this will be u squared. I multiply 1 upon u by u, that will be 1. Multiply 62 by u, that will be 62u. The next thing is to rearrange this. So we have u squared minus 62u 
plus one equal to zero. Okay, it's a quadratic equation. This cannot be factorized. So we are going to make do with the quadratic formula. So since this equation is in U, I can write that U equal to negative B plus or minus B squared minus 4AC upon 2A. Okay, where A equal to 1 in this equation, B equal to negative 62, and C equal to 1. So if I plug in the values of ABC into this formula, I'm going to be having U equal to and because B is negative here, negative 62, and the formula carries a negative B, we'll be having double negatives. That's positive. So that will be 62 plus or minus 62 squared minus 4 multiplied, 1 multiplied 1, that will be 4, all over 2 multiplied 1, which is 2. Okay, let me write that. 62 squared will be 62 multiplied 62, that would be 3844. Then I'll write u equal to 62 plus or minus 3844 minus 4. That would give us 3840. Okay, I'm going to take this up. So, it's an Olympia problem. Okay, if I were to be looking for the square root of 3840, because of this substitution, I will be looking at 15 somewhere in this radical. So if I divide 3840 by 15, I will get 256. I'll get 256. So I can then write this expression. as u equal to 62 plus or minus the square root of 256 multiply the square root of 15 or divided by 2. Because if you multiply 256 with 15, you get 3840. The inside of where 15 should be, or where 15 should be here, is because of the fact that Actually, here. So that's just the idea. So, square root of 256 is 16. You have having 6 to plus or minus 16. Square root of 15, that's irrational, which is rad 15. I'll write rad 15, all divided by 2. Okay, we have made significant progress. There are going to be two answers, u1 and u2. The U1 will be 62 plus 16 rad 15 or divided by 2. U2 will be 62 minus 16 rad 15 or divided by 2. Because, okay, the numbers on the numerators are actually even numbers. You can divide every one of them. So, therefore, u1 equal to 31, 62 divided by 2, 31, 16 divided by 2, 8, then u2 becomes 31 minus 8, rather 15. But we made a substitution. So, I will record that u equal to 4 plus rad 15 or to the x. Because we have two answers for you, we are going to be having two cases. Case one, when u equals 31 plus 8 rad 15. So with this, we can then write that 4 plus rad 15 all to the x equal to 31 plus 8 Rad 15. The next thing again, we must find a way to write 31 plus 8 rad 15 
to look like for top plus plus 15. Because we cannot use logarithm and we cannot use mathematical table. We cannot use a calculator. So we need to find a way to write 31 plus 8 plus 15 as a perfect square. So I'll take out this part. So I'm going to be writing 4 plus plus 15 all to the x. On the right side, 31. I will write it as 16 plus 15. Then 8, that will be 2 multiply 4. I will write as 15. The next thing I will do is to write 16 as a square number and 15 as a square number. So 16 is 4 squared. Because 15 is not a square number, Okay, to write it as a perfect square, I need to envelope it in a square root or squared. So, if you are reasoning in my line of thinking, you can see that this can be related to what we know, the square of sum. So, if I have A plus B all squared, this can be written as a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. So this is a well-known binomial formula. a is 4, b is rat 15, 2ab, 2 multiply 4, multiply rat 15. So guys, I can then write this as a perfect square. So therefore, 4 plus rat 15 all to the x equal to 4 plus that 15 all squared. Because the bases are the same, the implied the exponents are equal. So our first solution is s equal to 2. Then, case 2. When u equal to 31 minus 8 rad 15. We can then write that 4 plus rad 15 all to the x equal to 31 minus 8 rad 15. This is essentially the same to what we did here. So I will split this to 16 plus 15 minus 2 multiply 4. 15. So 4 squared, rad 15 squared, 2 multiply 4, multiply rad 15. Okay, it's also similar to what we know, the square of difference. So we have a minus b, all squared, this will give us a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. So with this, it's analogous to this. I can then write this as a perfect square. I'll take off this side of the board. So what we are going to be having is that 4 plus rad 15 all to the x equal to, okay, pick a minus b, that will be 4 minus rad 15. 4 minus rad 15 all to the x. Okay, squared. Very sorry, squared. Then, the bases are not the same here. But, at the very beginning, we made a very important assertion that 4 minus rad 15, when rationalized, is 1 upon 4 plus rad 15. So with this, we can then write this to be 4 plus rad 15 all to the x equal to 1 upon 4 plus rad 15 all squared. 
So I will write this to be 4 plus rad 15 all to the x equal to 1 upon 4 plus rad 15 all squared. Here I will invoke the inverse law of exponents. Okay, I take the reciprocal of the positive exponent, then I will write the negative exponent. So this one will become this equation becomes 4 plus rad 15 all to the x. This becomes 4 plus rad 15 to the negative 2. So you can see that the bases are not the same. Our second solution is s equal to negative 2. If the bases are the same, means that the exponents are equal. Next, I shall test for a strenuous solution. I have to write the original equation and test whether s equal to 2 and s equal to negative 2 satisfy the equation. So the equation is 4 plus rad 15 all to the x plus 4 minus rad 15 all to the x equal to 62. If I sit in negative 2 here and negative 2 here, I'll be having 1 upon 4 plus rad 15 squared. That's a fraction. The same thing here, 1 upon 4 minus rad 15. Okay, squared. So negative 2 is not the answer. But what you are going to have is going to be a fraction. It's not going to be an integer. Then if you take s equal to 2 and plug it here, you'll be having 4 plus rad 15 squared, 4 minus rad 15 squared. If you do that, you get 62. So the only solution, the only solution is s equal to 2. So guys, we come to the end of another interesting tutorial. Please give this video a thumbs up, like it, then share with your learning friends and colleagues. And don't forget to put your comment. See you next time. Bye.